What's up guys, Kyra Carl here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at stiff necks. Specifically for people who wake up and they've got a stiff band of tissue or a stiff neck, or anybody who works in a desk-based job or something that they really have to focus on. Now, I'm gonna show you how in just as little as 30 seconds every day, stiff neck problems could be a thing of the past. Let's do it. Welcome back to Three Minute Thursday, where I give myself just three minutes to teach you super simple, highly effective tips, exercises, stretches, and movements for you to overcome your troublesome aches, pains, and problems in the comfort of your own home. But as always with any stretches or exercises, if you begin to do the movement and there is pain, please stop immediately. If in doubt, always consult your spinal specialist and get the help that you need tailored to you. Now, before we get started, let's get three minutes on that clock. So stiffness in the neck is common. It is not normal to be stiff. And one of the most highly effective things to combat stiffness in the neck is simply moving the neck through all of its ranges of motion. So let's do that now. I'm gonna show you my go-to simple yet highly effective spinal hygiene routine. So this routine is something that you should be able to do every single day, at least once. Especially if you wake up in the morning and you're stiff, you can do this exercise quite easily. It's going to take as little as 30 seconds. Now, if you're a desk-based worker and you notice that that stiffness is building, that tension is building in the neck, then you might want to do this more than once in a day. Do it as and when is required for you. Now, the first movement that we are going to do is is going to be chin to chest and look up towards the ceiling. Now you're gonna do all of these movements nice and slowly, very controlled. You can also hold the end range for a count of anywhere up to eight to 20 seconds. So looking down towards our chest, looking up and towards the ceiling, The next movement that we're going to do is rotation. We're going to look to our left shoulder. We're going to look over our right shoulder. Each time we can hold that end range and just hold it for a little bit more each time that you do this. Next, we're going to have ear to shoulder. So we're gonna start left ear and right ear. Now you might find that one side is tighter than the other and that's completely fine, that is normal. However, just allow yourself to move into that tightness, especially if you feel it on the outside of the neck. Now, if the upper back is a problem, we might have knots and things like that. If you wanna check out my other video that looks specifically at the muscles in the upper back and in the neck that cause muscular knots and tension, then you can just check that out right here. Now, the next movement we're going to do is better seen from the side. It's where we bring our chin out and back, so a retraction, protraction. So chin out, keeping that chin parallel to the floor and back. Now, if you're making a double chin, you're doing this one right. And remember, you can hold, you can hold these end ranges of these movements and progressively feel that tension just melt away. Now, the final one that I would like you to do is probably the more difficult one of the lot. Some people really struggle to get this one, but it is super simple, just like all the others, and it is a lateral movement of the head. Now you might hear pops and clicks and Rice Krispies as we do this movement, and that's completely fine and completely normal. As long as there is no pain, continue to do it. It's a natural movement that the body wants to do, so just allow it to do it. Move through the tightness and you'll feel that tension just melt away. Now, I've alluded to it previously, if those muscles in your upper back and in your neck are super tight and painful, you might want to relax them off before you try any of these simple movements. Now, I have a video specifically for that. You can see that right here. 
Alternatively, a video you might be more interested in can be seen right here. If you haven't already done so, click that like button. Let me know that this content was valuable to you. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, click that bell icon if that's something that you like to do, and I'll see you next time.